What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to the channel. Bows were changed a bit in the Seas of Dragonfall update for Dungeon Defenders 2 and we're referring to the top two bow types, which previously were was the single four bow for single target damage and then the blinking bow for AoE lane clearing. Now both of these bows did get nerfed and to be honest with you, I think it was probably the fairest nerf in the entire update. Uh, because if you are currently using a single four bow, for example, you have no reason to change using it. You can just keep on using it and it's basically the same level of effectiveness as the Earth Guardians or say a Phoenix bow that's out there. So the first thing we need to do to check that out is to strip down everything that we can. So. Um, we have no mods in this setup that are going to affect the outcome of this one. Uh, however, uh, we pulled all of our shards. That way we're not getting any false damage. Uh, what we're looking for is a non-crit shot, just to look at the base damage scaling. So if we take a look at that, uh, 286, 651. That um, top uh, white number that went there. So if we take 286, 651, and then we divide it by our amount of hero damage, 191, 101, and then multiply it by how many shots per second, which is two and a half, we come up to 3.74999 damage per second per point of hero damage. Now, this is slightly under the Earth Guardian's bow. The Earth Guardian's bow, of course, is going to give us 3.76 dps per point of hero damage the tsunami is going to be number two on the list uh it is going to come in with jester arrows it's going to come in at 3.75 dps per point of hero damage making it nearly identical to the regular single four or the blinking bow now of course with jester arrows you lose a mod slot uh, however at 3.75 dps per point of hero damage that's going to be slightly above the blinking or the single four at 3.74999. Obviously, with some rounding, it's basically exactly the same. Uh, and then the Bow of the Phoenix course, lots of folks still love this one, is at 3.744. So it falls slightly under. So as far as top four bows for single target DPS... Uh, as far as their base damage scaling, the Earth Guardians comes in at number one, the Tsunami at number two, with Jester Arrows, the Blingo Midas or Single Four Ground Drop in third place, and then the Bow of the Phoenix. Now, there's one important thing to note here. The damage is basically the same with all of them. Uh, the only difference, of course, is you got the locked mod slot on the Tsunami and on the Blingo Midas. Uh, no locked mod on the Bow of the Phoenix or the Earth Guardian's Bow. The Earth Guardian's, of course, is going to be technically the highest single target damage in the game once again. Uh, however, it's so close that these four bows or five bows, including the ground drop, are basically normalized to the exact same thing. Now, I personally, of course, have been using that single four ground drop as that was the king for so long. Uh, however... To be completely honest, I am looking for literally any reason to change using this bow. Uh, for me, using a bow and what bow I use is not just about the number. Um, although I am a little bit of a slave to the number, I am not always a slave to the number. And with that in mind, I want some cool factor in my stuff. So I personally, uh, you know, Earth Guardians has got a way, way cooler shot type. Uh, Tsunami, for that matter, has a way, way cooler shot type, and I think I am going to be switching my bows up to focusing on both of these for the long term. I do have mixed emotions on the bling Midas, as the bling Midas is such just incredible um, AoE clear with that splash. You get a, a very nice uh, splash range on that shot making it, you know, really a top contender still, particularly for any sort of lane clearing. Uh, however, I've been people have been asking me about the bows. I wanted to get some bow info out there, and that is it. 3.74999 DPS 
per point of hero damage that you have. So hopefully this helps uh, you all out with your bow decisions. Um, have fun, y'all. Uh, as always, use the bow that is the most enjoyable. I mean, I really like the Phoenix shot too, but it does give you a little eye bleed uh, after a period of time. So if your eyes are not bleeding yet, I mean, I think the Phoenix shot has got a massive amount of cool value to it. And then, of course, that Earth Guardians uh, just does as well. But that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton. Um, like I said, hopefully this helps you out in your bow decision making. If you need to, you know, if you're a hunter or huntress player and you're regularly using bows and you're using a single four, there's no reason to change it if you're happy with the shot type. It is uh, more than effective and able to get the job done. But that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton. And I will see you soon. Take it easy.